We're literally talking about anything and everything that comes to mind. Oh, okay. Good morning. Did we start? Oh, we started. Sure did. Damn. Good morning, everyone, on this fine podcast on this fine Sunday, July 4th Eve. It's the uh, third. July it's third. The, it's the third. July 4th Eve. Oh, Eve. Oh, oh, <laughs> went over your motherfucking heads. <laughs> All right, so... Good morning, good evening, hello, my name is Javon, and this is Night with Friends. Probably, what, like episode six by now? Probably. Sure is. Same old friends. Same old friends. <laughs> I ain't got no new ones. <laughs> no new friends. <laughs> so how's everyone's weekend been going? Everyone go on. Everyone has, like, a three-day weekend right now? Yes, I got a four-day weekend because I called Tuesday off. Why? Whoop, whoop. Um, just because I don't know what, how tomorrow is going to go, so... Well, yeah, and I think, why not just have... Yeah. You too, yeah. Well, I have a half day, we'll but, uh, in the after... I'm going to have to work in the afternoon, but, um, it's like, yeah, who wants to go to work after a big holiday, fun holiday, yeah. drinking yeah. holiday, you know? But even though it's supposed to rain tomorrow, but still... It's only supposed to rain for, like, an hour. Yeah, it's 30% yeah. chance. And it's Washington, yeah. so we're all used to it. Exactly. They'll sprinkle a bit, we'll go on with our days. Yeah. It'll probably be nice and refreshing. Yeah. But I had a four-day weekend, too, because I had Friday off. Yeah. So I had Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. I stayed at work till like, 5.30 on Friday. Oh. Uh, Hard. Tough life. My boss quit out of nowhere. Crazy. So shit's been nuts for, like, the last two weeks. She just showed up to work, and she was like, I quit. And then she just left. And I'm like, what? Wow. She, should, she could do that on the phone. Yeah. I wouldn't even waste the time to get ready. But I think she had to get some stuff from her uh, office. (laughs) So just that whole situation was crazy. My boss retired after 38 years. Oh, Patrick did? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, it was so sad. On Thursday, like, we did, um, like, this little going away video of, like, his career throughout APHIS and whatnot. And it was really sad. Did you cry? I cried. Like, half the room (laughs) cried. Because he got emotional. And this man never gets emotional. Uh He's really happy. So it was just, like, seeing him... Just talk about retirement makes it, it was really sad, but Friday was the new day with the new boss, and it was really weird. Why? Because he's, like, the total opposite of Patrick. Like, my old boss was just very, like, like, he, we joked around a lot, but he didn't really have a family, so it was always, like, work, 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 mm-hmm. and this one was, like, leave, he left at 4.30, like, he has a family, and very nice guy, but, like, professional, it was a whole different vibe yeah. going there so it's like now I have to be professional too Yeah, you know. at least for a little while yeah, yeah until he gets used to all you'll see what's yeah. good in like four really months or so yeah so that's how my work week went oh that's sad I know <laughs> but he left the next day Patrick left the next day or he left on yeah Friday to go visit his dad and now he's touring Asia he Turn bought up. a one way ticket to Asia he probably ain't coming back he probably isn't that's why we have his dog hmm my mom does so then you get the dog as a parting gift? <laughs> where it, if he doesn't come back, where does the dog my go? My mom's going to keep the dog, and she absolutely loves her. So. Oh, really? Yeah. And she listens to her? No, she listens to my brother. <laughs> oh. <laughs> that is insane. So. That is nice of you. My mom would never let me yeah. have anyone's dog over. Whose dog is No, that? my mom, that's like the only dog my mom is in love with. Oh. She's hairless, so. Mm. Oh, okay. She doesn't shed, and she, you know, holds her pee until she goes out, and. So she's trained. She's a trained and smart. dog and smart. Yeah, she's a Doberman, blue Doberman. I like smart dogs. Yeah. You'll probably be in touch with Patrick all the time then if you're he's if this still, is the one. He's still he's in Asia right now, telling me they upgraded his flight. And I'm like, okay. Do you just like don't they have like beds? Yeah. On those flights? Yeah, he was sending me pictures and I'm like, wow, like the menu literally looked like a four course for yeah. menu. On the well, plane. Maybe on the plane for a long ass time. Yeah. So but he's probably going to have to watch his dog for the rest of... His life. My mom. For the rest of the dog's life. Yeah, my but, mom. But he's going to contact you to get... Yeah. Right? That's fine. I guess. I don't really care. Billy, right? The dog's name is Billy? Billy passed away. Her name is Ashley now. Oh. He got a new dog. <laughs> yeah. Billy died last year. Oh. <laughs> Wait, how old is this dog then? This dog's seven, but he... it's She's a rescue. Right, okay, that makes sense. Then. So, they think that she was abused when... When she, with her other owner because she was like really weary and she yeah. doesn't eat until you, unless you say it's okay she won't go outside unless you say it's okay huh. but she's a very good dog oh yeah she is yeah. Well, one well yeah because she's afraid <laughs> she's gonna get out again <laughs> is your alarm going off again? no, no. that's not that it was, it's a watch oh okay whose watch? 
I think it might be yours. Why so how was your weekend, Darwin? I mean, it was fine. Nothing. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> uh, was Is that it? really what it's gonna be? Okay, it's like it's like. Uh, it's about the text <laughs> messaging I was doing last night. <laughs> No, I let him, you know, it's the same old, same old with me. I don't want to talk about it because I don't want him to be the center of my world. Mm, okay. So, um, I'm not, it was a good weekend. I'm just, you know, psycho, psycho, crazy me. It's okay, we're all, I mean, I had my psycho moment We have last our moments. Night. Yeah. Have our moments. I just remember specifically, like, seeing him at the bar and, like, uh, we made eye contact, but I did not go over there first. Did he come to you? No, he texted me. Oh, oh my god, god, how immature. Uh, how he immature. sent me two like me- messages, and then like I saw him, so I walked over there. Oh. And then I, was you he know, we hugged. No, he was with like this other one of like his, one of his other friends too. Mm. Well, two of his other friends, and so we were all over there for a while. And then like I look over on his phone as I'm like, kind of like across from him, and I see that he's texting, and I'm like. Who the fuck is he texting? I'm yeah, sitting yeah. right here. Like, who, <laughs> who could he be texting? And I'm like fuming. Like, go to the bathroom. Like, grab my phone out. I'm like, okay, psycho. He's texting you ah! as you're sitting there. Oh, I'm like, oh, okay. Oh, Ooh, my crazy. God. <laughs> Calm down, crazy. But it was, my weekend was fun. And then me, Chris, and like our other girlfriends, we went um, to the Silver Stove. And then just like danced and had fun. And, you know, it was a four day weekend, so yeah. everyone was out. Yeah, but was Where's Chris at tonight? I thought he was yeah, staying there. Staying with you. There. Well, I thought so too, but let's not. Oh, uh, okay, okay. Oh, let's not jinx ourselves. <laughs> he's at a um, family event at a lake party, oh. and um, he is drinking heavy there. So maybe he won't want to go out later tonight, or maybe he's just gonna go maybe back to his mom. Maybe or that's something. the warm up. I don't know. Yeah, maybe maybe that's the warm up exactly. Yeah. So. Are you gonna go out later tonight? I mean, uh, if he wants to go out for like, a, he well, if he wants to do karaoke, mm. but I'm not gonna get like trash. I'll probably have like one or two drinks. Yeah. I think you know I'm probably the perfect night to do karaoke, but you guys do that the mix. Or uh, we go to Silverstone. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Silverstone has karaoke too. Uh huh. They have it like Sunday through Thursday. Mm. <laughs> There's a spot that did karaoke in West Seattle. I forget the name. It was a weird ass name, but it was like this huge bar, and it like shaped in a U around the bar, and then in the corner they had karaoke going on, and the freaking microphone was a wireless microphone, so motherfuckers oh, was having wow. like concerts. Is that the place where I had my birthday and I blacked out? No, that's that um. Place? That sounds familiar. That was where was that? No, cause that where we took you was like um, Queen Anne. I threw up over Corey's shoulder with him with I'm, me over his shoulder like he on had him? me over his shoulder and i oh, like, threw, threw up, up his yeah. Yeah. that i planned that birthday in like 30 minutes you did. and you had a good time because like i was like oh i don't know if i want to go out but i do want to go out but i don't have anyone to invite so Javon did everything and i don't remember three-fourths of the night oh well, there you go That's i remember jay said you kept spitting in his car like the throw up spit like <laughs> That's what you were doing when I was driving oh, you. Yeah, you know I'm gonna do it. When I was driving you in your car, so I think you should open the door, and then you, <laughs> you, you did it. So I was like, oh, okay, hold your car. <laughs> I was tore up on my birthday. Oh my god! I feel like as we get older, we just can't hold our liquor Mm-mm. like we used to. What's interesting though is I never seen an old drunk person throw up. Yeah. Ever, which is weird. Well, I think it's because like when you're young, or your friends want to like, buy you drinks and stuff. Mm-hmm. It's rude yeah. on, on your birthday. It's like Say no. it's yeah. the rule you have to take. Yeah. Whatever you have to just like back up. It's your birthday. Yep. That's why when I go I like to go out to bars and stuff, I don't want everyone to know it's my birthday. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because it's like then you have bar patrons getting yep. you shots yeah, and stuff like true. that, and it's like I can't. Mm-mm. And the next day is just a struggle oh, for like always. fifteen hours. Jesus. Always for me, it's almost twenty four hours mm. the whole day. I'm done. <laughs> I could die. I could. Death would be a welcome sometimes. Yeah. I'm just like, cause it would just take in my I life. Can't <laughs> eat, I can't drink. I can't do anything. I did get tore up, kind of a little bit. After, a little bit. I don't know. In between tore up to like, what's the in between? Tipsy? Buzz. Tipsy? Buzz. No, not buzz. Buzz is not. No, I was, I was feeling good. Maybe tipsy. Do people still use that word these yeah. days? Yeah. I think the word buzz has replaced. I think tipsy and buzz are the same thing. Buzz, I feel like, is just, like, you're not there yet. So it goes buzz, tipsy. Drunk. Drunk. Yeah. Drunk. And then, and then fucked, up. fucked up. Fucked up, yeah. Well, I was, I was tipsy at the Lauren Hill show. Oh. Which was absolutely amazing. And part of me wish I would have went by myself, but... <laughs> 
was great. Low key, I'm more of an Erica Badu fan. Yeah. Than Lauren Hill. But you guys saw my videos. Yeah. The vibe in there was just so fucking well, dope. Anything with a live band is just gonna well, be not, great. Well, not not only that, but every single song that she played was just different than the original. So it was like low key like a jam session. Yeah, just... I felt like I legitimately felt like I was in the studio with her. She was like controlling her band, controlling her backup singers, mm. and it was just like I was in complete awe. It was. She sounded her. good. She sounded. Just like she sounded 20 years ago. Oh, really? Mm. Yeah. So good. Is that 20 years ago? Or you were six years old? Yeah. Oh, fuck. That is 20 years ago. Did oh, she come out when we were six years old? No, nah, yeah, the Fuji's been around for a fucking that while. That makes me feel so old. But and yeah, she sounded the same as she did 20 sister years ago. Sister Act? She was in yeah, Sister she's Act. Yeah, Sister Act. Oh. You know that? No, I don't think I've ever seen the Sister Act. Really? It's a good movie. Yeah, we've seen that. We watched it in choir. Someone wasn't paying attention to No. You were sleeping. Probably. You yeah. slept on it. But, uh, shaking my head. That was, and, like, the show box downtown is so dope here. That was the first time I've been to that one, the one downtown. I've always been the one in Soto. Yeah. yeah. I always wanted and to make book that It's bigger. One. It's bigger, and there's, like, literally two bars on the side, more seating, and just, like, the rooms, like, oval. Oh, it was seating? They're seating in the bar area, yeah. Oh, and then in the middle, it's stand. Did you, did you sit or did you stand? I stand just stood right behind the sound uh, sound booth uh-huh. so I literally saw her like straight I think, ahead of me I think the Soto location is for like more rowdy shows then I feel like maybe yeah probably yeah. this is more like, like literally the there was just mm-hmm. like lounge seating on the sides and then there was like the middle where people stood but yeah cause the Soto one ain't no damn chairs nowhere it's except in the bar, bar. Yeah. yeah but it was ugh, I loved it I absolutely loved it I knew 85% of the songs that she played. Yeah. 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 Did she play any Fuji stuff? She did. Nice. She Smart did. Um, and she played, like, a lot of stuff from her Unplugged, which I enjoyed. hmm And then, uh, obviously, stuff from Miss Education, so. Yeah, the classic the album. classic album. But, oh, she was amazing. Yeah. Like, you know, like, there's those artists that get older and they kind of lose their touch. She did not lose her touch. What touch? Like, lose. Like, like give an example. Like, give an example. Of an artist that lost their touch. Mariah Carey. <laughs> yeah. I would say, there's actually a video around of, like, her latest show, and she's, like, on point. Really? Yeah. Lost she's a mess. Everything. Yeah. But she is so, like, I'd be watching her. On, she's like, a hit or miss. I'd be I feel watching like. her on some of these, like, at, like these, like, Instagram little things, talking about how she don't know nobody, and how, <laughs> she, you know, she don't know J-Lo, and she's, like, the greatest singer. Like, she, she's a good singer. But it's like, girl, sometimes you just need to... Tone it down. Tone it down and maybe humble yourself just a little bit. Like, mm-hmm. you're a great singer, and Ariana Grande is a good singer, too. Like, don't, don't shade her, because... I don't know. She sounds she just shade, like her. She does. Well, she In does, some but... songs, she totally does. But I like more Arcadia's music way more. I mean, okay, I think... Rihanna, uh, Ariana Grande is still up and I coming. Think, well, I think the music, in this, the music has changed. Like, the music from Mariah's... Yeah. Era yeah, versus yeah. Wait, the music yeah. from our era now, so I think it's different. But I think if uh, Ariana was singing, singing the same song as Mariah was, they sound exactly. I think, oh, they, no. I think she sounds exactly. That's like the Trey songs and R. Kelly to me, though. I think the same. You think thing. they sound alike? Yeah. I'm not a Trey songs fan. They kind of do sound alike. There's, there's R. Kelly. Yeah, R. Kelly and Trey songs sound alike. I always Future thought, designer. That doesn't count yet. Yeah. But yeah, like, they sound yeah. exactly like everyone. Everyone. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> well, because everyone is kind of like designer is not going to be around for that long, and we like everybody sees it coming. Well, I listen to his sure. album, yeah, on Tidal, but every song to me sounds exactly the same. It sounds the same. You don't understand shit. Same. He's all like that. Eighteen too. Oh, yeah. he's well, has his whole life ahead of himself. I like Future because you can actually understand some of the stuff. Eh. He's saying. Some of the stuff, like. Literally, I listened to that designer album. I didn't understand. I ended shit, it halfway nothing. through. I couldn't. The beats were good though. Yeah. Good, good gym music. I didn't listen to it. DeAndre said the same thing. He sounds just like Future. Yeah, it's insane. But I don't know. I was. I feel like maybe Kanye was trying to, you know, save some money on releasing that album because he just was experimenting with it because he had no big names on it. No. Maybe he was well, trying he, to stir the pot. Well, he did say he was in, the, um, in debt so maybe he couldn't afford anyone. <laughs> yeah, that's true. I mean, he has Rihanna. She's yeah. big. Chris well, Brown. Yeah. Is he Frank so Ocean was on it. Frank Ocean was on it. I don't know what he's up He's supposed to be dropping something in July. Okay, I don't and I'm hearing, that. No, I'm hearing, I'm hearing, I'm hearing a lot of it don't coming out. Like he's saying, 
from um, a Facebook links and stuff uh, like that. I heard there's a Snapchat. I don't believe any of that until I actually see a legitimate well, yeah, like, album. Yeah. Give me a track listing and I may believe you. But. I wonder what like I wonder when artists do stuff like that. Like, what are they actually doing? Are they really recording an album? Or are they really like not doing anything? If they're under contract, they have no choice but to record an album. Is Frank Ocean is he signed with anyone? Well, Dustin Child, I think. Is he shouting across? I don't know. No, he's I, texting you. Uh, I think Desi Child, Desi Child is still under contract for I think one more album. Really? And Sync is under contract for. No. I I, I swear I think so. No. I think there's a lot of people who are still under contract for mm. an album. And there's really no it. time frame when they have to release that song. Yeah. Or release that album. If if Insync drops an album, that'd be tight. Wow. But they've Insync's even said that they're not getting back together. Well, then I don't know what the, I don't know what's gonna happen. But yeah. They're not under. Did contract. Insync say that or did Justin say that? Justin is in sync. I know, but you have to get with if the other members of the group want to get mm-hmm. together. I think the other members said they don't mind, but I think. Well, it was they're just... yeah, of course they don't mind. They're not doing anything else. <laughs> no one's doing anything. They're anything just sitting else. at home watching Orange Is the New Black, like uh, <laughs> collecting that in sync money. Well, no phones. Jeez. <laughs> I was trying to see this in sync album. I'm so parched right now. I'm dying, <laughs> but like I need cold water. I cannot drink. <laughs> warm water. Well, then I guess you ain't that thirsty. <laughs> <laughs> we should drink warm water for football practice. They say it was better for you. Because your body... No, I heard it's better to drink cold water because your body burns calories heating it up. Really? No, mm. that sounds like some Cosmo shit. I don't know. That doesn't even make sense to me. Everything in Cosmo is pretty much... You can bank on that. Really? <laughs> you, can't, you can't put fake stuff in magazines. It's not in soft. legitimate ones like that. Oh no. Um I bought a carpet or a rug finally. <laughs> I'm just you, catching you guys up on my boring life. My boring ass it life. It took us what, it took you like four weeks? Yeah. To figure out a rug. Situation. And you know the funny thing is I was I was researching online, I went on Amazon, I went on Wayfair, I went to Overstock. Every single freak oh, USA rugs, a hundred rugs, <laughs> like any sing, like website you could think of, I searched. Yeah. And Eventually, I found my rug at fucking Target. <laughs> I just went to Target. And just got it? And I just got it. That's the second one I got at Target. The first one didn't work out. But yeah, just got it and it worked. And you like it and everything? It I think I, I need yeah. a bigger rug. I'll get one next You need time. a 7 by 10 for sure. Yeah, I want an oval rug to go into my table. That oh, I got okay. for $20. Yeah. Your table's very old man-like. I like it. That's my favorite. Yeah. Yeah. Let's just hope none of your friends, when you um, that UFC fight, try to like stand break on it. it or stand break on it. Him. Why would they do that? Because they're crazy. Well, last time I had someone over, Manny's, Manny was standing on top of my ottoman, and I'm like, why are you standing on that? You rest your feet on it. You don't have to stand <laughs> on it. Like it's just it's kind of crazy when you realize you have a wild bunch of friends. Yeah, and they never invite them over. No, no, people don't respect your, people don't respect yeah. yourself because it's not their stuff. Yeah. So. I had someone over earlier today, just like their first time over, just to see the place, mm-hmm. and they didn't take their shoes off. And I don't want to be rude and be like, Can Oh, that's weird because the minute I walked in. In your <laughs> own home? Or talking about in her house? No, the minute I walked in oh. her house, shoes off! <laughs> she shouted out at me. So, why didn't you want to tell? You know, you should get, you should get those, those covers that you can put on mm-hmm. your shoes if people don't want to take their shoes off. Why well, didn't I feel like. Do, My do you place think feet is not stink? how do high you? class like that to do that. I do have like a, a cream colored rug though, so it's yeah. like a. She, she she stepped on the fucking rug with her shoe, and then she proceeded to take her shoe off. Thankfully, but I was like. What kind of thing is Unless you like it hit her like oh shit I should take my shoes off. Yeah no shit Sherlock I don't have my shoes on. <laughs> well oh. Ooh. But, yeah, my place is coming together nicely. It looks like a, a model home. It does not look like looks, a model that's what you, home. You agreed to that. Yeah. You I said mean, that's the look yeah, you're going for. But... Like, like a Target. Ikea uh, ad, yeah. which I think is, I mean, I would love to have for my home to look like an Ikea. It's so funny because DeAndre was like, what if Jenny decides to use your place as a model home? Maybe she'll lower your rent. Like, if she can Oh, she's a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I started laughing. Like, that would be so dope. If she uh, did that. She'd be crazy. Yeah. I don't like her. <laughs> she always acts... She always acts like... 
it pains her to do something no, that yeah. involved that. So, yeah. Like, she, I, they had to replace my door because I took the mirror oh, down. Oh, did replace yeah. it? No, she hasn't sent, gave me a new oh. one yet. But um, I asked her, I was like, so, like, when it's been almost a month. Yeah. Like, when am I going to get a mirror? She's like, relax. It's <laughs> Jeez. Yeah, and then I told her that my garbage disposal was clogged. <laughs> And then she goes, she's trying to tell me, like, how to fix it, you know? Mm. Like, she goes, well, there's a switch. You just flip the switch or whatever. And I go, well, you know, like, I'm not at home right now. I'm at my mom's. Is there, can, like, can you go do it? Or, like, can someone else, you know, quickly went over there and flip it? That knows what they're doing. Yeah, it knows what they're doing and whatnot. She was, and she goes, <sighs> yeah, I guess. <laughs> Click. <laughs> and I was just like, okay, is this your... This is your building that you manage. What do you mean, you guess? And then, like, she like, she fixed it, and she find, and then, like, I ran into her in the hallway, and she goes, yeah, you left a, um, there was a spoon in the garbage disposal. Oh. So you gotta watch yourself before you turn it on. Do you notice I left there was a, I left the spoon on the counter so you could see it, and I thought, oh, no, I saw it was a dirty dish. <laughs> but I guess I left this, yeah. So I was like, whatever, girl. I just can't wait. I didn't know how much I missed having a door into my bedroom. Wait, so you took the door off? Yeah. Why? Because there's a giant hole in there's it. A giant well, I mean, hole I just still it. kept the door. Until you, get, until you get the new door. door. Well, it's an eyesore, though. I wanted that shit out. Get me you better hope it door. matches the other See, that's what yeah. I said. I was like, that shit better match the other door. And if it doesn't, then no. Then she yeah, better change the other door. Just giving you just a door that they found. No, fuck no! I better match it. No, rate. it's not gonna. It's not gonna happen. Why don't they just? Cause the unit next to you is open. Oh, oh is it? They should take that door. No, it's not. Someone gonna, lives there. Are you sure? Cause I looked like I was looking over there, and um, it looks empty. No, well, I literally see a guy coming in and out of that place. Oh, okay. an, an, older gen- an older gentleman. Maybe he's we the came cleaner. Out last night. Last night after, like we, me and John went out for. Oh, I don't use that. I don't use my door. I just you Do can have mine. Room? Yeah, give me fucking your door. I almost suggest that. <laughs> I don't Can you use just that. give me to I don't. Oh, I don't like close it. I don't see the door closed, and that's scary. Cause one, <laughs> I am the only person <laughs> here. The door well, you're the only person here. Why do you need to yeah, have the door closed? I would, I would I sleep, sleep with the door closed. Open. You do. Oh, you no. have a roommate. So. I see why. Well, yeah, that's why. Well, I'm the only one. Door closed. I see with mine closed, and like even if I lived here by myself, I'd probably sleep with it closed. No, you that's wouldn't. scary. No, you wouldn't. I sleep with my. door And that room is so small. Fucking. Yeah. No, it's. I only close yeah. it like if I if I'm getting ready and if I have people over or something. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I, I don't or I want to hide my mess. You know what I mean? I have people over. I want to hide my mess. So I'm gonna I don't close do the door. that. No. I I never close that door. That's yeah, crazy. I'm gonna suggest to Jenny that she just give me your door then. Well, then she'd have to um, clear that with me. <laughs> and I would say, well, then you need to knock my rent down a little bit too if I'm giving someone a door. <laughs> and the fact that you didn't knock my rent down when I. She said said anything about me when I gave her when I gave you the reference to move in here. And I used you as a reference on the application. I wanted to do you guys just say something like to her? Or something? She should give me like maybe fifty cent, fifty dollars off my rent or a hundred dollars off my rent or something. Mm-hmm. At least for a month. Yeah. A couple of days. Should I say something? Well, you should bring. Is up it like the door. too late by now? No. no, you should bring up the door and just be like, so I just heard that Mary like doesn't. No, I'm not giving you my door. I mean, I was. I was just like. I was lying. I mean, I wasn't you're lying, not but offer like. The door. What the I don't fuck? actually. Don't you make serious? <laughs> I didn't actually what? even think you would carry it for real with it, girl. I need, what if I do need my door? You need your door. Everybody needs a door. So no, I'm not giving you mine. Nope. You just wait for yours. I will give you my door if you give me your um, um, your fluorescent light bulbs. <laughs> <laughs> they're not fluorescent. They're, they're not. They're. What are they? CFL. CFL. Wait, yours are just. Well, I don't know. Yours might be fluorescent. I know mine are. Oh. What's uh, the difference between yours and hers? I don't know about hers. What about mine yours? Mine are like the spiraling. Well, ones. yeah. So like mine are spiral too, but I guess it's like there's there's different kinds because there's a CFL kind and then there's fluorescent and there's the regular shit. And I get, fluorescent's definitely a whiter light, or like you'll have a blue tint or something. Uh huh. But mine were definitely yellow, so I looked it up and I was like, oh, these are called CFL light bulbs. Oh. Which are just energy efficient, but they're not like bright like fluorescent oh. bulbs. So I lied. Oh, okay. So, well, yours but they, I don't know. Mine's are bright. I mean, you've seen mine. They're bright. Yeah. Yeah. I just don't know what they want. 
Did you see the lights literally for a pack? It's like fifteen, twenty dollars. Is that where you got yours? No, I don't. No, no, I don't know. Where Where'd you get yours? My mom's house. Well, no, DeAndre got DeAndre was on to change out my lights. He got the light bulbs. From where? I Target. Don't fucking know. Ask Which Target would have? No, we went to Target. We saw Charo at Target. We, that's Home where we Depot. Looked. Home Why don't Depot. you just get them for him at Costco? Because they don't have. Ones. They have uh, the fluorescent ones. I saw that they have was like a fat ass pack of them, and I'm like, I'm not buying this dude forty light bulbs. Well, we'll split them. How well, much the rest is of that? our lives. How much? Is that? I don't know. I think it was like thirty bucks. They had smaller packs. No, the smaller packs of CFL. Yeah. Yeah, so, so I mean, get him the CFL ones. They're better well, the, than these ones. Well, the CFL. <laughs> no, he said it was the same type it's of. The light. same kind it's of like light. Light. Yeah. I want a different light. Like you want a brighter light, like a, a light, cleaner yeah, light, like yeah. a, like fluorescent. Yeah. Well, it's, I'm sure it's cleaner than these. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Okay. <laughs> no, this is just very. Regular. Dim. Like yeah. this is a dim. Basic. Yeah. yeah. Basic. <laughs> <laughs> basic. You got basic lighting. I don't know. I'll I'll take a picture of the box because we still have a box. Okay, my dad or someone told me that you could get that they have like attachable ceiling lights that you can get. And this is a little because you just you <laughs> press you them. Press. <laughs> no, I don't you know. What, that's lights. what it does. It's not like no, it's not like that. Is it like that? Yeah. You can take a big, but they come like this. But how does it turn on though? I don't know. <laughs> it turns on. <laughs> you just press it. No. I remember those. Oh my god, my dad used to have it one at the entrance of the garage. He's having Okay, no, I'm not talking about those ones that you the put. I'm not talking about those little round white ones that you put like the hallway that you actually like do that. I just said that they have designs on them. Of like you guys are so rude. Lights. I don't understand how that even works. Like how do you turn it on like yeah. the remote? <laughs> I don't know. I don't yeah, have can one. I, it? I don't have one, so I wouldn't what know. What is it called? Detachable ceiling? No, attachable. Ceiling attachable lights. Ceiling attachable ceiling lights. lights. That sounds I'm going to Google it. Google it. Because I'm interested. Because if that's the case, I'll put one in my living room. Of course you are. <laughs> <laughs> attachable ceiling lights. We'll see what this comes up with. So, Javon. What's up? What happened with your hike this morning? We're gonna talk about that dumbass hike. We're gonna talk about this <laughs> no, dumbass hike. No, it's silly. That you know what I hate? Conversation I hate, is silly. No, as I hate you when fuck. my friends like. Why well, <laughs> you say I I plan accordingly? Like, no, you don't. Obviously, yeah, plan I don't flake. Like, I don't call it flaking because it's I'm flaking, gonna yeah. I'm gonna return and be like, all right. I'll be able to do it this time or hang out or whatever yeah. this time, but not this time that just passed because. Well, you have to give the backs. I mean, I think you have to give the backstory about why. Yeah, why are you even worried about me? No, no, no. no. I'm only. I am only talking about the part where you're like. You said something. The viewers aren't knowing what we're talking about. (laughs) (laughs) I was supposed to go hiking with a friend, right? I'm not gonna say who this friend is, but I was supposed to go hiking with them, and prior to that, it was just a really big deal. So. We can't about even get into details. how excited he was about going hiking that wasn't to the Olympics. A big deal at all. And like he's never done it before. It was such a sketch hike, but he's so excited that he gets to go so he can take pictures. Yeah. La, 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 la. Okay, so but what and happened was is yesterday, that. Yesterday, you were like, oh, I'm 50 50 about this hike. And I never like, said that. You did. Unless it was hella late. You did say I'm 50 50. If it was past about 11, then I was definitely 50 50 about the hike. You, did, you said a, there was a ratio. I don't know if it's 50 50. Yes. It might be like. I said 60 40 or 40 60. Uh, yeah. I was one of those ones. Bullshit. It was 50-50. I don't go back. <laughs> Anyways, so what happened was, Manny's friend came up from New Mexico, and I'm like, all right, I feel like I'm in charge of, you know, taking them out to have them, you know, have a good time, because he's never been up here before. Excuses. It's all excuses. But it's facts, though, because, all right, would you rely on me or a motherfucking Manny to take you out and have a good time? The guy doesn't even know you, so exactly. he doesn't even know you exist. But I know who Manny is. And I know Manny's style. He's just down for whatever. Take him to the wrong place. and not going to have a good time. He's going to get blacked out. So I was just like, fuck it. There, everyone was asking me, what are we doing tonight? So I took it upon myself to plan where we were going to go, which was the forum. We went to the forum. It was like six of us. And then um, people met up there and... We just got really shitty. Everyone okay. got shitty. But I didn't honestly, get home. You, I didn't you... get home until like three in the morning. 
which means I had to wake up at 5.30 anyways to make the hike because we were leaving at 7. So I woke up at 6, and I was like, I'm not making it because I'm too fucking tired. But if I didn't go out last night, I would have definitely have went, but I fucked up. And then I apologized, and he was like, oh, bro, it's cool. So if you're going to keep on with the keep on, I'm going to invite him to No, you're not. Bet. Don't because that my ne- that's my next text. I'm going to be like, hey, me and some buds. <laughs> you too. <laughs> you and some buds. You too. No, me and some buds are going to watch some UFC Hang fights. And I would like to speak on this in the podcast, too. Another thing that makes me mad is last night I was like, what are you guys doing tonight? Like, where are you guys going? That wasn't my I fault. I want to go out, okay? And, I, and then you were like, oh, we're going to the forum. I'm like, oh, okay, well... I think I said, like, D doesn't want to go out, but I still want to go, but I'll only go if, like, the girls, the girls go out. Going, yeah. And you were like, well, I know the girls are out, but they're not with us. And, and then I, after you said, after I told you that, literally, like, an hour and a half, they showed up where right. we were. But because you had known that I, I wanted know. to go out, if the girls were going out, you could have been like, oh, the girls are going to hang out with us. Oh, the girls just showed up. Like, I told you that they were us. I, told I you. live up the street You from wouldn't the have came because you didn't even text us. You didn't, like, you texted me the next day that the girls were up because of my Snapchat, meaning that yeah. you weren't on Snapchat, so either you were cuddling up, watching fucking TV, or you were asleep. <laughs> so, if you would have saw that, and I told you... I just you, ignored I told you, you, though. But the thing is, <laughs> I told you that the girls were out, so you right. could have hit them up. Didn't, nobody knew that they were coming out with us until later. And we didn't even know they were coming until they just showed up, mm-hmm. unless AJ talked to one of them. Probably. And that's it. So, but I literally woke up, I was making breakfast this morning, you know, waiting for my for my sausages to be done, and I'm like, what the fuck? I literally sat there like, are you fucking kidding me? We literally sat around and talked. And no, I know, the usual drank. stuff, which, yeah. but I'm just saying, like, I wanted to go out last night. Do you want to stay home being a party pooper? And I was like, I want to go out. But I didn't want to be, like, the only girl, because I know it was just you guys. Yeah, just, so. a, just the guys and the random dude from New Mexico. Yeah. So super and then I wanted to go out tonight too, but that didn't go down as planned either. Why not? Yeah, why didn't well, you go? Um, so initially I was gonna hang out with Jenny, but something came up, so me and her just grabbed some food and caught up. And then DeAndre was gonna go up with his coworkers to um, Bellevue, and I was just gonna tag along. We we're just gonna go out and have drinks, but they wanted to like buy a table. Yeah. So. But neither one of us wanted to put down money on the table. So it was like, no. We're spending money we're, tomorrow on the 4th. We don't want to spend too much money Where are you guys going to go? Yeah. What, I think we were going to go to like, the parlor or something like that. Uh, buy a table. Parlor. I'm like, I don't want to buy a table. I don't want to put money down on a table. We don't even spend time at that table anyways. Well, a table now, what, it'd be like a hundred, couple hundred bucks. Just put that with ten people. Well, yeah. I didn't know how many people. Oh. I don't know. I don't think anything less or more... Five to ten. Yeah. I don't know. But, but tables are corny. <laughs> yeah, it, it just would have been a waste of time. Yeah, if you want a table, you go to a lounge and you kick it and conversate with your <coughs> friends. You want to go to a club and get a table. I hate that shit. It's corny. Because then you're stuck at the table. I mean, like, you're not it's using just a, the table. You're it's not. just, it's too much. Like, for example, for my birthday, we got the table. And, like, we weren't even there. The whole time. Oh, we weren't there at all. No, we were on the dance floor. And like it was yeah, cool. We it was cool that we had one because the the bottle came. The two bottles came included. So I mean yeah. that's that's a good deal. But yeah, we were literally not there the whole time. Like we were on the dance floor. Oh, we were at Baltic. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, we weren't at the table at all. But it's good for women because obviously we're in heels all night, so it's good to like go and sit down and relax. Her. Her. Come back, you know, oh, take pictures. Yeah. And then go back down on the dance floor. Man, it just felt cool that I knew the DJ. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we need to have another night where we go out again. Yeah. I drove, me and Dandre drove past Encore the other night. Emblem? Is, oh, Emblem. That place is so empty. Yeah, it's a, it doesn't belong yeah. in Tacoma. So, I mean, it would do so much better if it was in Seattle. Yeah. Not only that, but maybe even by the waterfront. Yeah, it's a good location. Right. Ours? Ours. Uh, I don't think so. You think so? No. I think a club down there, it's going to, like, all the Ubers, I mean, it's, it's so far from other clubs. No one's going to want to go down. Yeah, go so if they had, there. like, a strip and, like, had stuff yeah, down yeah. there. Yeah, yeah. Like, 
Clifford down there, you're kind of down there unless you get an Uber. Yeah. There's going to be something to Uber. Well, they should put something down there when they're done building it up, because they're putting more stuff there. Yeah. And I don't, want, I don't think those people who can afford though, to live down there want a club down there. Want a club down well, there. Well, I don't think yeah. they wanted a little play area either, There's but that's area? what they got. What's that little water area? thing? That's not yeah. a play area. There's kids down there all the time, all day, every day. Me and Jodger, before a movie, were outside until 10 o'clock at night, and there well, was still Well, those people have children. Yeah. They, no, kids don't I think a play room. area and a club are way different. I know, but it's just loud. Like, either way, it's just loud. Yeah, but you're going to have people drinking and driving. You don't have okay, people okay. I'm just saying, fighting. in general, I'm talking about noise level. Anyways. If they there's a movie theater loud. there. Yeah. That carries no noise. Yeah, I heard that you can hear. You can what? Hear the movies well, that's the outside. Okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah you that definitely made that up. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> but if they build up Rustin Way, like how Santa Barbara in California is built, then it mean it might be something cool. I think that's a long shot though. I don't know if that'll happen. Yeah, some of Barbara's crazy. I don't know. So the fourth of July I've never been to the waterfront on the fourth. Ever in your life? How old are you? In my life. But can I Uber can we like is Uber available? Just... I feel like the it's rates gonna, are gonna be really yeah. expensive and they're yeah. not gonna be able to probably get you super close. They're that's fine. As long as they can get me up the hill, like in by like old town. Or I could just walk down the railroad tracks, and I'm totally fine with that. Oh, yeah. You could just say, give me to as close as you can, and then he will. That's what we did for Pride. How for, how expensive do you think it's going to be? It's literally down the street. Uh, who knows? You know they up it. I don't yeah. mind spending $20. But I walk from... $20? Coming from where, though? From my place. From here? Yeah. I don't know. It'd be $20. You think it'd be more? Could be. Because <gasps> like, they can double if they wanted to. It depends on, like, the time of day, like, it's a holiday, how many, like, what the, uh, the demand is, and they can hike it up. I know, on Halloween, from where we came from, from... It was, like, 60 bucks, right? Yeah, it was 60 bucks, but on top of that, that I had a, far. I had a, um, I got that freaking XL on accident, so... And that was farther. It wasn't that far. Well, my what most expensive far? Uber was, I think, 25 or 30, that was insane. San Diego. Yeah. My expensive Uber was like two hundred something dollars. What? Long fight. I told you guys the story. No. My most expensive. The night of the Drake was... concert. Two Drake years. Two hundred and seventy dollars. It was two hundred and something dollars. Literally from where? took us from Seattle to Auburn at five o'clock in the morning. Oh. And I was pissed. Oh my god, that's a pair. That's a pair. Of sh- that's a really good pair of shoes. I was. That's gas for a month. I never got paid back for that shit. It's okay. You can split so fares now. You can split. I know you can, yeah, but at the time, I, the they people that I were with were blacked out, so I couldn't yeah. split fares with blacked out bitches, so. Is it goes, was fun night, though. Is anyone going to the concert this year with the future? Um, I will be going with my significant other, which I'm extremely excited for, although I don't know a lot of future songs. Um, and I'm also in a Kanye, which cannot wait. I'm taking that day off, even if I don't go to the concert, because I'm <laughs> driving up. He'll probably do a pop-up shop, mm-hmm. and, I'm, so. and I'm buying merchandise up the ass. I think it's going to be expensive. You're going to get, like, one shirt well, that's for $300. No. 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 I think it's going to be a little more reasonable than yeah. that. Yeah. No, it's like, it's going to be concert merch, not eat, not, uh... Not like the Pablo. No, it's not gonna be the Yeezy It'll season. It'll be Pablo. Merchandise. It'll be like the Pablo. Yeah. Like how they're all wearing the Life of Pablo T-shirt. Yeah. With the freaking old English lettering on yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. So I want that. I think the shirt Nestor has is like eighty bucks. So oh, where did he get sense. it from? I I think he bought he got it from somebody what? maybe. Why would it be fake? Why would it be fake? You can buy fake stuff. Well, you know, he I'm has in, connections. I'm into he that. has connections. Oh. Well, and you are into I that. believe Shauna has connections, and Nestor just uses her. I don't know, unless I got connections. He got, he knows some plugs. Possibly. I don't know. So then, yeah, so that's where I'll be. So I'll tell my doctor, sorry, I can't go to work today. I'm sh- shopping in Seattle. I don't know what this is. I have, like, two bumps. I noticed that giant knot on the side of your head. Ooh. I don't know what it's from. Well, don't touch it. It yeah. doesn't itch or anything. Oh, is it a spider like bite? It. Where is it? It's right Which there. You can't two. miss it. Oh. But they're right next to each other. Yeah. But they don't itch. They don't have not to itch. Not yet. Oh. Yeah. Or not yet. Oh, okay. Just for your hair to the other side. No, because it's been bothering me all day. See, is it going to be there for tomorrow? It. It's going to be in photos? <laughs> <gasps> Don't say that. I'll just, like, keep my hair over it. Yeah, that's what I yeah. said. No, I know, but I'm just saying right now at this moment, it's bothering me. 
and I seen that like Dr. Pimple, Pimple proper. Like, you think it's a giant like a cyst? A cyst? It could be. Could it? I don't know. I oh, how do you get cysts? Oh, you get cysts for being dirty. I, don't I just know. think it's a a pimple that just doesn't come up to surface, and it just or gets infected. it just stays there and it gets bigger, or um, it pops, but then you don't get like the root of it, so it just keeps getting like. I don't know. I just know that if I if that if I need to go to the hospital for this, or to the doctor for this, put me the fuck out. What? I do not want. They're to. not gonna put you out yeah. to pop a pimple. Not at all. Well, give me something. They're gonna like for, numb it. No, not anything. They'll probably just stick something in there and just. No, no there's these out. videos I've seen they that they cut literally and cut they, under the skin and they. And the giant yeah. like thing pops out. Well, I don't yeah. think it's big enough for that. There's type two. Of shit. Yeah. Jovan. I've seen this. No, it's not not big enough. They got motherfucking shit. So that maybe are they huge. are um, bug bites because they do kind of itch now. Oh, now they itch. Well, they itch because you keep fucking with it, <laughs> so you gotta stop. <laughs> Oh, whatever. I saw a dog with a um a tumor once. Dogs get our diseases. Yeah, I saw it with this fat fucking tumor on its side because we were going to the Jameson concert and we were walking to the weed shop and we seen this fucking little puppy, not a puppy, but it was a little dog and like the tumor was like half its body size. Oh. And I was Aww, like, shit. so sad. Well, it gets to the point where it gets too big that they can't even like wow. do surgery on it really? or anything. That's crazy. Yeah, Billy used to get tumors all the time, uh, and they would just let it leave it. Yeah. Especially depending on what part of the body it's on, too. Yeah. Yeah. One of my friend's dog had cancer, which was, I was like, what? Yeah, dogs get cancer. That shit's crazy. Yeah. Is that thunder? I think it might be fireworks. It's fireworks. Oh. It's July 4th Eve. <laughs> I'm sorry. I cannot I think wait it was for raining it. earlier. So. I can't wait for tomorrow. I love fireworks. I don't know what to wear. I hate the super loud ones. I feel like the night is so there's so many possibilities that you can do t- tomorrow. What do you mean, oh, like yeah. fall in love? I think fireworks are very romantic. Wait, are you hanging out? Uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> 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 I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Did he mention? No, he didn't. Yeah, him. he texted me on oh. Friday. Oh, okay. No, it wasn't Friday. It was a Thursday. He was like, "Hey, are you st- are you gonna come to my place on oh. Fourth of July?" Yeah. And then I waited, like, till the end of the day. And my work did a text him back. Mm-hmm. I said, yeah, what time is it start? And he said, 1.30. And I said, yeah, I'll, I'll be there. And then, um, within, I don't know if I want to go, because it's going to be raining. I don't know if he's going to still have rain, it. It's not rain, rain, like, and then, but He texted me today. I didn't say anything back at all, though. What did he say? I never, I didn't open it. What? what? Is your reader seats on? No. Then open it. Yeah. Well, it's not. It's a picture. Oh. It's a picture. Oh. No, no, no. Okay. But he always sends like the weirdest pictures, so I don't want to like. Is it like a nasty gram? Yeah. What do you mean a nasty? Like, like, a like if you open it now, it'll get hard and make it all of this awkward. Jesus. <laughs> Relax. No, he doesn't send nudes. Do you send him nudes? No, I've never sent this to me. Oh, I don't good. send nudes to people. Oh, stop fucking what? lying. What? You're lying. No. We had a conversation about those. No, we had a conversation about taking nudes, and so not you, like sending so them. So you take them without the intentions. Of- <laughs> that is crazy. And they're all tasteful. They're not like I'm not like spread eagle. <laughs> <laughs> but no, um, guys really ask for that too. That's disgusting. What like a pick? Yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah when I was younger, I used to do that. But That's anyway, so gross. When I got older. I was like, this is silly. It's gross. It's weird. Yeah. I don't know what I'm going to do tomorrow. I know I'm going to be at the Freedom Fair with everyone else, but then I'll yeah. probably go over his house too for a little bit. Is he by the water? He lives right across the train tracks. But we all should meet up. I'll be able to, I can stare at his house if I'm just at the other, if I'm at the waterfront. Yeah. I'm like able to see. That's good stuff. Yeah. We should just grab, if, yeah, we should all meet up at least. At I don't like know how or where though. It's going to be so crowded tomorrow. I don't know, the Ram. Ram's having a beer yeah, garden. We can go to Katie Downs. Katie Downs. Why can't we go to the Ram? I'm kind of bougie with my restaurants. You really are. It's the Rams, the Rams. There's a beer I, garden. I hate chain like restaurants, that. so the core. Well, DeAndre and I are drinking before we head out. I gotta go with my uncles, I think. I'm going to brunch, and then we're gonna get, we're doing like mimosas and stuff. Yeah, I'm cooking, I'm cooking lunch tomorrow. Oh, you're for you and DeAndre? Steaks. Mm-hmm. You're making steaks? Where at? I'm in the my oven? Apartment? No, I bought like this, um griddle thingy. Oh, I have one of those. Oh, is that what you use that for? You put on the oven. Yeah. Oh, I have one that you like plug in. It's like a big... For like pancakes? 
I think so. Yeah. Mine has mine has like the actual like you know how grills they have the. So you're gonna have these fake grill lines, yeah. on your steak. I, I just want to give it a try. I got it from Costco. So. I need a new pots and pans. Do you know how to make a steak? It's not hard. It's not easy. Like, is it marinating right now? You have to marinate it for one. No, I'm you not going to gonna marinate. My mom doesn't marinate her steak. She well, just do salt and pepper. You don't have to marinate. You can just do salt, yeah, salt, just do salt and pepper or like yeah. a little Johnny's. But and how do you go. cook it, though? Like, I mean, like, cook it, like, medium rare? Or I like done. well done. What about DeAndre, though? He'll eat whatever I make. No, I feel like no, he's not going really to really upset. Not no, upset, no, but we've, he'll be like... we've ate, went out and gotten steaks before, and he's done well done, no pink. Oh. Ew, that's well weird for him. Well done steak is gross. I love well done. It's but dry. I feel like for him, he's like... Yeah. I feel like he would, he would like... He's like, bougie. Yeah, I think he'd be like, oh, I want my steak to be perfectly done, and like... Yeah, well done. done. <laughs> but I feel like if you're paying for a steak, like a good steak, where'd you guys go? Like Angus, Applebee's? Well, a couple times. El Gaucho. Oh. And then um, That's a good we had steak yeah. at Red Lobster. And... I don't like well done really steak anymore. Good. I used to. And I, younger, I slowly... You first yeah. Because you don't want to see any pink. That looks and like And I still scary. feel like that. I don't want to see any pink. No pink. Yeah. I love it. But I like go... I'm now at medium. Medium. I get my steaks at medium. I don't yeah. know if I can go any lower than no, that. There's people that like want it yeah. seared and like raw in the middle. There's, I went on like a date. The middle, but like raw my else. dad liked it. I like went on that. a date with my so first gross. date with a boy. He was a man who was older than I was. And uh, <laughs> he told me that he went on a date. No, he had dinner at Wolfgang Putt's restaurant mm. in Vegas, a $300 steak, he said. And he got a blue rare. Fuck that. And it was um, like five seconds on one side. No what more than 10 fuck? seconds on each side. Yeah. And they served it, and it was the steak was actually blue. Yeah. And he said it was so good. Oh. And I thought, Ooh. <laughs> Ew. Like, no. So like, disgusting. I feel like, like I you get cook, sick. Do you even cook the germs out? Mm. That's the thing. That's what I'm always worried about. This is my first time making a steak, so. Or steaks. And you're making it in the oven? That's a weird No, way. it's not an oven. It's, it's on the, the stove, but it's like a. Stove. Oh! Yeah. It's still kind of weird. Yeah. Well, we'll see. What kind of steaks, though, too? New York. H and has good steaks. Yeah, New York steaks, three so, of them. Oh, what are you gonna do with the other one? Um, he works on Tuesday, so I'll probably just make him a to-go plate or something. Oh. Yeah. Mm. But yeah, I want to eat good before I go to the waterfront, so I don't want to like spend all your money on spend food. all my money yeah. on food. I'm my focus. Well, I'm gonna obviously buy food, but I just want to buy like. I'm gonna eat down there. I want snacks. Yeah. I want a euro. I want snack. I want euro. What? What do you mean? Like it's a, it's either a euro or a gyro. Which one? It's a or gyro. Oh, gyro. It's called a gyro. gyro? Yeah. It's called a euro. Right. Oh, okay. The G silent. Oh, okay. Sorry, my apologies. I just want a funnel cake, funnel cake and curly fries. Wait, and is it frozen yogurt? <laughs> You're not gonna eat finish all this no. stuff. <laughs> Where is Mary? Okay. <laughs> Everyone. This is why we have world hunger. Because people yeah. like Mary over order and then waste all the food. They waste half the shit they order. And they don't want to share none of it. She'd rather throw it all away. Be like, no. <laughs> or like, oh no, I'll take it. I'll take all leftovers. And knowing she's not going to eat the leftovers yeah. the next day. I eat leftovers. I do eat leftovers. No. I'll send you guys a picture. Of yeah, and, we gonna, and then you're going to send us the after picture and it's going to be, you ate a quarter of it. And then it's just... It's wasted. I'm gonna do it with jasmine rice, mash or no, just jasmine rice and the vegetables, stir fry vegetables. I always like it with like broccoli. Yeah, stir fry vegetables, which includes the broccoli. Well, like steamed broccoli. Oh, okay. Because you overcook broccoli, it was just nutritional value. Oh, really? Yeah. All cooked vegetables, if you cook them, they lose their nutrition. So stir fry vegetables probably are like. Worthless. Especially so from oil and shit. If you it? cook it, yeah. Yep. Mm. It's yes. better to have raw vegetables. Oh, okay, maybe I'll just do that instead then. Raw vegetables? I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do tomorrow. I just know I want to eat good before I go to the waterfront, that's all. Maybe I'll go to Thriftway and get a sandwich. The sandwiches are pretty good there. Really? Mm-hmm. They're really good. They're expensive, though. Yeah, Thriftway's expensive. I feel like you could go to MSM and get a bigger sandwich. Mm-hmm. For seven or eight dollars. I remember I went versus. to the I went to the Met and got a I don't even know why I did it, but I got a peanut butter and jelly sandwich for like five bucks. Oh my god. I don't know why I did it. But it was really good. 
they went, it went really well with oh the, sushi I, the chicken well. wings are there the chicken wings they have there are good too yeah I like the sushi too that's like the freshest grocery store sushi you could ever buy I get the pokey there yeah. I get the pokey there is yeah. it pokey oh is that how you pronounce it? Pokey? Yeah. I guess so. Yeah. I never had it. Oh, it's good. Why are you guys looking at me? I'm Asian. I don't know. <laughs> I went to, uh, when I was in Hawaii, I had ahi. I don't like ahi. It's the, the raw fish. tuna. It's yeah. the raw tuna. It's like, yeah, it's po- raw t- I just don't like the, like... The texture? Yeah. I like sushi because you have the rice, and the seaweed, all that other stuff. But, like, straight ahi, it just, like, it, like, it melts down. Into like a goo into your mouth. Yeah. And it's that's how like, the, that's how the pokey is. Yeah, yeah it's I don't like, like it. It's sam- pokey. I think is salmon. It's, yeah, it's t- salmon. Mm-mm. No, it's not. I don't know. It's something raw. Yeah. So I just don't like it. It was like too gooey and weird. I, but this one comes with rice. You can get rice and mix it together. And yeah. Kind of cuts that. Yeah, I'm it's hungry. I'm about to go. My well, last night. And another reason why I got home so late last night is freaking I had, was looking for somewhere to eat, so I was fucking starving. Yeah, I'm hungry now. Is the McDonald's open down the street? I think so. Um, McDonald's is always open. That was not that one, not turned really? forever. It is, and then it is. I sat in the line um, going, hello, 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 <laughs> for 10 to 15 minutes. Why would you lady, do that? And the lady, because the lights were still on. Everything oh. was still on. And you were determined. And the lady goes, I'm sorry, we're closed. And I go, oh, okay. <laughs> so they're not open or they are? So they are, so they don't, sometimes they are and sometimes they aren't. Oh. Who's that? Oh, my friend Emmy's calling. We're going to get drinks with um, this guy we went to middle school with. Tonight? Uh, yeah, Parkway. Oh, I love Parkway. Parkway. It's, uh. That Aurora. By the 70... No, Shell gas station. We mm. right there. Up there, really? Uh-huh. Yeah, it's a great bar. One of my favorites. They don't serve alcohol, though. It's, it's just beer, beer and wine. Beer and wine, yeah. I went there with uh, a big black friend at one point. Who you who? Place. Big black friend. Oh, I think you said my big black friend. No. Uh, remember when I told you guys I got freaking blocked by that girl? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I figured out I didn't, I didn't get blocked. Oh, oh, on my face, story on, over again. On Facebook, I wasn't blocked, though. Oh, okay. Well, she, maybe she unblocked me. Maybe that's what happened. Because, like, she posted something, and it just showed up, and I was like, oh, shit, I thought you blocked me. But definitely on Instagram. She blocked you on that? Has to be. My Instagram yeah. is straight flexing right now. Mm-hmm. And, she doesn't, and she doesn't like a single thing or whatever. Mm-hmm. Probably hates it. Is there a hate button? <laughs> yeah, seriously. Oh, that's too sad. Instagram. Strange. It's so strange. Instagram is strange. Why like, is Instagram strange? Because people make a living off that shit now. I know, and that makes that... But it's just like YouTube. <clears throat> yeah, but YouTube, YouTube is talent. YouTube's definitely talent. Like, with acting or being creative, creativity. But, like... Well, I mean, with Instagram, you're creative in the way you take your pictures. Yeah, but who's making money taking good pictures, good wholesome pictures, making Instagram money? I don't know. No one. But Vine, Vine is weird, too. Vine's I'm like, still just throwing out I thought people... that one of those girls you see is an escort, and I just don't believe it. We think so. We can't I name didn't... any names. We think the girl is an escort. I think you guys Instagram. are just bullshitting right now. There's no. I mean, okay. Well, what does she do? What did she works in retail, right? She can't to give off too many details. I'm not. Oh. She used to I work don't in know. Re- I don't know. She, she did. She had a job. She had a job. She probably still does. But no. that job. Not, and plus, if you're if you're on this on your butt on Instagram, <laughs> you're not gonna be seen out in public that often. I like, never saw this girl at her, at her place of business. Like after. After, like, this Instagram shit popped off, I don't see her nowhere. I I, and I saw her one time in person. I was walking downtown Tacoma, and yeah. she was walking, we passed each other, walking opposite directions. That's the only time I've ever seen this girl in person. Mm-hmm. And she worked at a very prominent low, um, sh- job <laughs> company yeah. Yeah. that I feel like I would have seen. Oh, was it the one in Tacoma, though, or was it? Oh, uh, well then, okay, well then I never really shopped at that one, so. Yeah, so I'm really But bad. I feel like, even, you can, you can make good money there, you make good money there, actually, yeah, you do. Yeah, you do. What? Oh, fuck. But you have to work, <laughs> you have to work in the right department, and I don't know if she was. Yeah. I don't know, I just, uh, like, it's jumping to conclusions to assume that someone is 
an escort. Or maybe she just knows a lot of people. Yeah. Um, maybe she knows people like football players and stuff. Maybe yeah, I mean, and it's different for guys too, because like we know football players, a player, but we're dudes. You guys are just jumping to uh, conclusions. It's just kind of strange. You don't buy flags like that to nice these extravagant places on that sort of salary. Yeah. No. Uh, yeah. Yes, you the can. salary don't match up. You can. Yeah, no. Okay, just All thinking the time. about just plane tickets, though. She yeah, probably, what about everything they else, They probably have though? a place to stay. No. How? They have a hotel. They get hotels. Yeah. They're, they're not staying at their homegirl's house like and, this. Yeah, and who lives there that moved from here or that they know somehow? You don't know their lives. I don't know enough to where you got a question. Yeah, we are. We're putting it together right now. Yeah. You're in denial. In denial. I just can't believe it. You never know these days. Are, were you friends with her? No, I know her, but I just don't. I mean, that's that's a that's a heavy accusation. You know what I mean? That was really heavy. You just gotta do what you gotta do. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I guess. I mean, more power to her if she is bro. Do what she gotta do, but I don't uh-huh. believe it. You just can't. <laughs> I just can't. No, well, because I know that one of the girls that she hangs out with that little clique. Someone told me that she be mm-hmm. messing with football players. So I assume that she, the football player flies that main girl out, and then he's like, oh, do you have any other girls that you can bring but with you? But it's like, do these football players really got money like that to be like, I'll fly you out? Girl, what it's not... do they got money like that? <laughs> the, minimum, the minimum for a decent player is like 100 grand a year. You know what the fuck you do? And it's not, a yeah, and the plane ticket, I mean, they're flying coach. They're not flying first exactly. class. A coach plane ticket, because it looks like they like to go to... My, they go to Miami a lot. Yeah. <laughs> so, I mean, from here to there, it's probably like... A couple three, hundred bucks. Yeah, three hundred dollars. Yeah. And then I stay at a hotel for... Mm-hmm. It's not that much. Yeah. Yeah, as I researched staying in Miami, me and the other were supposed to go yet. We were supposed to go. Well, how much was it? Tickets are like three to four hundred dollars. Okay. If you buy them on a good day. Uh-huh. And so let's just say a four days in Miami per, like, per person is like twelve hundred dollars. Right. And if you want to stay in a decent place. So if you're in a, if you're an athlete, making a minimum, hundred fifty hundred k a year. And there's three athletes, and there's probably like maybe, uh, eight girls, eight nine girls, and yeah. they can double up in the rooms. They can make it happen, no doubt, with ease. But it's like, what are these men getting out of that? What do you mean? Oh, we're just explained it to you. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> an escort. <laughs> It's like old men. Why do old men date young women? Old rich men. Okay, fine. It's just... You gotta open your eyes, man. Open your eyes. Mm-hmm. Open your eyes, open your ears. Well, I just know that I'm hungry. Anyway. Three more days and I get to roll my windows down after the summer. I'm surprised I you did this shit in the summer. That's what my brother said. Why would you do it in the summer? Well, no, put the AC on. Really, uh, that's what I do. That's what I do. But I can't see at night. I, I can't see anything at all. Like, par- I tried parallel parking yesterday. Is that safe? I cannot see at all. Is that safe? I don't you know. You have the darkest tent? I have the darkest tent. You know what? Knowing you can't <laughs> see at night. <laughs> you got the darkest tent. <laughs> mm. <laughs> I just saw parallel park at night. I bumped some cars. What about driving? Can you yeah. see when driving? Yeah! Oh. I mean, in the back... I just cannot. see shadows. Oh, God. You're going to run someone over. I'm trying to back out. Not. Run over some child. I mean, I don't know. I, I probably need to get sensors in the back eventually. No, you know, That's a waste of money. Super waste. What's I'll this? be fine. But yeah, it is the darkest. It looks so good, though. Yeah. Did you see it outside? I almost parked next to it and I realized it was a fire station. Yeah, you're parking in the no parking yeah. zone. You do so, it all the time. And I can't wait for them to give you a fat ticket or tow, tow your shit. car. Well, I really want you to be like, going to work. <laughs> da, 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 da. I'm like, what the fuck? My car is not here. I'm waiting for that text message. Oh, yeah. I want to be exclamation Oh, my God. Marks. I'll be so excited. I'm going to be so excited. I have, I'm definitely going to have to move it We're tomorrow because you. I feel like they're going to be really strict on parking in there. Yeah. Before. I'm gonna put a note on your car and said this person's car is not a firefighter's car. <laughs> so can you do something about it? Cause it's <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Whatever. What if, I'm hungry. What should I eat? I don't know. 
What you got for house to eat? I got yeah. no grocery. I need to go grocery shop. That's what I need. I went grocery shopping, but it's like I just went grocery shopping for you something, want something I can quick. Cook with. I want. You should get. Quick. You should go to Hanks and get extra uh, cheese on your pizza. Oh, shut up. <laughs> shut up. I still haven't tried Hanks pizza. It's good. Yeah. I don't think it's good as PSP. No, but... PSP is really good. Their, oh, really? their pizza bread is fucking good too. Mm-hmm. So I don't know. Maybe I'll just go. I'll probably just go to. I don't know, the hub or something. I have, like, I have, like, um, noodles in my cabinet. Like, I just pop like in the ramen? microwave. Yeah. Oh, no, it's like God. the teriyaki noodles. You just pop in the microwave. What's a teriyaki noodle? Yeah, what's a teriyaki noodle? Teriyaki is definitely, like, meat with sauce on it. Well, it's, yeah, it's... Yakisoba? It's spicy teriyaki. Yakisoba. It's like a yakisoba. Chow yeah. yeah. I don't like top ramen. I think something about it is, like... I still love top ramen. I love chicken top ramen with eggs. I hate to say it. Or something about it is Don't like, say it because you're going to ruin my top ramen. No. I just look at it as like poor. <laughs> 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 like it's weird. I don't like top ramen for that reason, but I like cup of noodle. It's the it's same, the same thing. thing. I don't know. Maybe the presentation's different to uh, me, but the cup of noodles is I, just a faster way. You don't need a stove like for that. I know. So, so top I mean, ramen anything, to me is just more like of a cheaper or that's a poorer alternative. Okay, well, I need to be verbally attacked. <laughs> but then I used to because like. I think either you or Sammy showed me you guys put like an egg in it, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, I think yeah. one time I put like too many eggs because I liked it. It was like so like, ugh, like gooky and stuff. Wait, so you cooked it with the eggs in it? Yeah. Mm-hmm. You oh, boil, as it's true. boiling, you put in a raw egg, right? Or like a, or you just put the yolk. I put the whole egg. You put the whole egg. And then yeah. it makes it and then wow. it cooks in it, yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that was Sammy and, and we used to do that. Uh-huh. Like that. So I don't eat that, I don't, but I don't eat <laughs> You put too many eggs. I don't eat top raw mix. I, uh, uh, my grandma used to cook it. She'll boil it and then she'll put she'll chop up green onions, put some in there, and then um, that pork. The I forgot what kind of pork it was. Chinese barbecue. It's the barbecue yeah, pork. It's like, it's like red. red on the outside. That's the barbecue. That's oh, the Chinese. Oh, so good. Um, yeah. The Chinese sausage. So she, no. What's that what sausage, sausage, girl? Sausage? Oh. It was pork. <laughs> and then so she cut that up and put it in and there. Then cook it and then throw it in. Or she boil it in there. And super good. My grandma would do this thing with it that we always ate, even to this day. My mom grew up on it, but I think it was looking back, like I I just realized this a couple months ago actually. But I think it was she did it this way because probably didn't have like like a lot of money mm-hmm. for like a big meal, so she would take like um, top ramen, and then you boil the top ramen, and then also you would boil like a pork chop. When you put the so you have the top ramen, you put a pork chop in it. A boiled egg, you cut up the egg, put it in the, in there. Soy sauce, ketchup, and then onion. Chop up onions yeah. and put it in there too. And then you use the um, the juice from the pork <laughs> chop from that boil. Yeah. And then you'd use that as like kind of like the the broth, the broth and you yeah. mix it all together. And she called it yak. <laughs> so I thought it was like a like a like an actual like a real like thing, a real but no one else has ever heard it. of it. They do that at like boiling point. Yeah, that is true. Yeah, mm-hmm. and so, it's so just like another but I love Dave. Until this day, I I love that. That's the only reason why. I, that's the only way I'm eating top ramen is if it's in that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's just, it's crazy how parents or like grandparents are so creative. Because they really things. didn't have much, so they make things out of scratch. Now it's like you just can get anything anywhere. Yeah. yeah. A, what? a frozen meal. Yeah. yeah. I see my grandma put onion rings in her top ramen. Huh. Like oh. the uh, already breaded ones. Like funyuns. Not funny, but like a onion. like onion rings, like a Burger King. Yeah, oh. and she would just throw everything. I was like, "What the <laughs> fuck are you eating? That's disgusting." Uh, one of my stepmoms, she made this thing called throw together. What she called it, but it was with <laughs> white rice, kielbasa sausage, and just corn, a little bit of butter, and that shit was always super fire. Yeah. I don't like corn. Really? I don't like corn if it's on the cob. I don't like it off the cob. I like it off the cob if it's warmed in the microwave and there's butter. I like cream corn. So I'm definitely not eating that. Not really? cream corn. <laughs> cream corn's low key bomb. Uh uh-uh. uh. That's a very, very low key because I haven't eaten that. I've never, I never even tried it. Yeah, just try it. No. I like how sweet I've it is. I've tried it. Uh, I just uh, uh, uh. <laughs> can't eat I'm it. I'm hungry. I keep on talking about it hungry. It's going to get to the point where I'm hangry. What time? It's almost 11. Yeah. I got to go to the, my friend's house. Whose house are you going to? Roman's. <laughs> Oh. What are you guys doing over there? I want that. <laughs> bullshit. Bro. No, I don't want to come. You don't want to go. You guys, you guys all you guys do. I don't do that stuff. Uh, 
I just can't be around that. No. Um, no, me, Jared, and Roman are going. Or Jared should be there right now. And a couple other people. And with Roman's situation, he's not... Nobody messes with that stuff. Yeah. For now? Well, if you guys plan on going out... <laughs> it's it's going to be 11, 30 by the time I get there. You're going to be fast asleep with McDonald's hanging out your mouth. No, me and... A fish Dan boy. Had, yeah, we're a fish <laughs> me boy. Me and Daniel talked about getting something, so... I told him, I was like, I'll just make wonton soup for something. He's like, we can get something to eat, love, if you want. So I'll just go to the hub. If it's open. Is it Sunday? Because it's Sunday. Holiday is tomorrow. I want to order a pizza. Yeah. Yeah. I might just have to. I don't know. I don't know. Well. Are you ending it? Oh, is that, I mean, you said you had to go to Roman's. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. I don't know. It doesn't even matter. We can talk forever. Cause I don't have anything to talk about. It's getting to the point where all I can think about is just food. Well, what's your favorite food? <laughs> what? I don't know right now. I just want, like, soup. What do you think? My- wonton soup sounds good, but I don't have rice, so I can't put rice in it. But I do have noodles, so I'll probably put noodles in my wonton soup. Why do you put noodles in wonton soup? Yeah. Oh, no, I'm thinking of miso soup. Sorry. No, still. Yeah. It's too much. No, it's not. Because you already have the wontons in there. You know, there. if you go to a pho place and you do wonton soup, they put noodles in it. You know, if you go to a pho place and be a dumbass like me and get mozzarella sticks, they serve that shit with ketchup. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you thought it was you thought it was marinara? Uh, yeah, and That's I dumped just... it. And I was like, oh my god, gosh, why did I do this to gross. myself? I don't know. I just think I always thought pho was overrated. That's all I'm really messing oh, with. Oh, I love pho. But... I might just go there. I hate it. I love it. You call it good to go. Mm-hmm. No, he doesn't like it to go. Who doesn't? DeAndre doesn't like it to go. He wants to eat it there? Because he yeah. just feel like you get, you don't he get as he, much? No, he said he's tried it before and it doesn't taste the same. I've never tried it before, but it is kind of weird, like, getting it to go because you want it really hot. Uh-huh. It's, it's not like going to get, it's not going to be cold by the time you get home. Huh. Bougie. Bougie. Well, this. You said it. I did. He, I well, I understand that stuff that tastes the same because that, if I get. It's like beer. Beer tastes weird out of the can. Or like ketchup. Can. McDonald's ketchup tastes different. Like if you get yes. if you get French fry if you get French fries from McDonald's and you get their ketchup it tastes like it tastes good but if you're like oh fuck I forgot the ketchup well I have ketchup at my house mm-hmm. that ketchup is totally different it's like it's they like yeah. it's like sugar in it I think it's oh. saltier yeah almost mm-hmm. a lot going on so what books do you have here that I can take nothing have you even read this book that I got you uh-uh, probably I not it's okay it's a nice paperweight I'm gonna read it though I'm in, I'm in between a lot of books I mean this book. Uh, by my favorite author, Babe Walker. Oh, who's that? <laughs> it's like a fun, it's like a super light read, nothing um, too analytical about it. It's called, um, her first book is called White Girl Problems. <laughs> and it's just like, she's a ma- she's an imaginary person. She's not a real person. Right. I hear that word on the internet is that she's a made up person. And she's been made up by this gay guy and his girlfriend, and like his one of his girlfriends, and they made up this girl and they wrote a book as if they were her. Yeah. And it's about her, like the, her life. And her, her name is Babe, and she grew up in L.A. and she's just a shopper. She's just a weird, like white girl who just like navigates through life her way, does whatever she wants. Mm-hmm. She cares about like being thin, and she's. She, I don't know. It's just like it's funny. It's a funny book. Yeah. Hmm. I need to read. Book. I need to read too. I've been on this book for like a year now. I want to be able to like go to the waterfront and just lay a blanket down, sit on a nice day, and just read a book. Nice days are numbered here, so I don't know how many. I mean, in the summertime. I'm talking about summertime. Summertime now. <laughs> I know it sucks. We're uh, we're in July, and it last year was 90 degrees during this time. And yeah. was it? Yeah, it was hot as fuck was. all summer. Oh, Didn't even rain. No. Okay, well. Hope everyone has a happy fourth. I'm getting hangry. It's a made up word. Angry and hungry. <laughs> so, unless they're going to continue to talk, I'm out this bitch. Oh, that's right. Oh, damn. Okay, then. <laughs> All right, well, we'll talk to you guys later. You guys have a have amazing... Have a happy fourth. I think by the time it uploads, it'll, it'll be like the fourth already. Oh, okay. Probably second. Well, <laughs> so I hope you had a happy fourth. Yeah. There you go. We'll tell you guys our fourth Fourth of July stories in the next podcast. Yeah, and I'll make sure I ate before to prior. Yeah. Okay, so guys, have a good night. Have a good morning. I will talk to you later. Bye. Bye. Bye.